Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today if you watched our shorts video yesterday that we released, we hinted towards the release of this new CO2 laser from Xtool. This thing is a massive machine here. We're going to be talking about it pretty quickly on their website. They are on pre-order now, so if you guys are interested, come to their website, click pay deposit. It's $100. You basically get $1,000 off any bundle you want, but we're going to scroll through this really quick. And we're going to show you some things that I like about it. And there are some things that I kind of don't like about it, but it is a benefit to it as well. And I'm going to get into that and why I think this. There's also one other really interesting thing that I don't think anybody else is going to talk about that I'm going to talk about with you guys too. So let's get into this really quick. So first up, this is their new laser module. It looks kind of slick. It reminds me of the S1 in a way with these modules that can swap in and out you'll see that they have a 5 watt infrared as well later on in this little slideshow. Uh, but it is 80 watts of power. So we're going from 55 watts on their P2S to 80 watts. So this thing is an extreme power upgrade here. Um, next up, we have the largest work bed that they've ever had is 36 inches long by 18 inches deep. So you're going to need a massive table for this thing. So keep that in mind. If you're going to be getting this make sure you have a large enough table for this this is just the inside working area the outside is going to be even larger so keep that in mind next up we have the um the fastest co2 laser yet i know you with most companies they always say it's the fastest this is going to be a uh, pretty quick speeds i think you get the gist of that next up this is kind of where it comes into play that i was talking about where um I kind of like this and I kind of don't like this at the same time. So this is four different cameras in there. So they're going to use four different cameras to get uh, per, uh, like pinpoint precision, which I do like that. But they have this lid camera and you'll see here in just a second that this lid camera, you basically have to open this and it takes a top down view, just like like the we create Vista, for example, or there's other machines that do this where you have to have the lid open and it takes a top-down view. That's so it doesn't distort the bed as much like a fisheye camera lens. But the thing that kind of sucks about that is you have to make sure you hit autofocus and then it'll take a picture. And then when you have to hit print, you got to go back to your machine, close the lid, and then click print. So that kind of sucks, but at the same time, um, I see why they do it. It's going to work in conjunction with this top camera and you're going to have a camera inside your head here that's going to do like a microscopic uh, look at your um, engraving so it's going to make sure it's a lot more accurate than any other machine out there so that's why it is a benefit and i really like this but at the same time i don't really like having to go back and forth from the machine to your computer if your your computer's across the shop but that's something to keep an eye out on um, obviously this is a class one laser because it's all contained. I think you get the gist of that. And then, um, if you come down here, it'll show you like the, the different looks to it here. So I'll just kind of let this play out here really quick for you. Um, they have a LIDAR positioning and then they have this auto lift. So kind of like what Re we creates machine has is that auto lift feature where the whole machine goes down. The inside of this machine actually comes up uses that LiDAR for the autofocus, and then you can just hit the button on top to, to start there. Here's kind of what I was saying about the, uh, the positioning here. This lid has to be open in order for it to shoot down. This is what I was kind of showing you earlier. You have to open this lid all the way up, and then it will shoot the image down onto the bed, and it works in conjunction with the laser head itself. So. Uh, like I said, that is a good thing because it'll be way less distortion. It'll be way more accurate, but it's a bad thing that you have to kind of walk back and forth. But like I said, that's not really a big thing. It's kind of just a nitpicking thing. Um, next up is uh, that LiDAR detector. This is just a closer look at it. I think you get the gist of that. That's autofocus using LiDAR. And then here is the other exciting part here is the auto lift. So you can do up to 8.5 inches here. Uh, you just put any item in there that's 8.5 inches and it'll automatically lift up and down for you for the autofocus and then it'll cut perfect every time. So I'm super excited about this. And then uh, this is where the other thing comes into play. This is kind of what I was talking about 
that I don't think most people are going to be talking about is uh, uh, down below. They kind of have um, like a small subsection about this, and we're going to get into that. So you have both the 80 watt module and a 5 watt module here for the IR. So you're going to be able to do plastics and aluminum and copper and brass with this 5 watt IR here, and then you're going to have the 80 watt for everything else. Now, I'm going to kind of skip past all of this and go down to this subsection I was talking about. So what they say is uh, what new materials can the P3 handle? And uh, they say that you will be able to do direct engraving on plastics, metals, and stainless steel. So I don't know if they're just basing this off the 5 watt infrared or if it's another module they're releasing because it says will be released later stay tuned so i don't know if they have another module like um for example if they're going to be releasing uh the uv laser attachment with this i don't know if that's even possible but that would be awesome um so i'm not sure what they mean by that but i don't know if anybody is ever going to look at this subsection or talk about it so hopefully um, this brings you guys to that attention. I wonder what this is gonna, what this actually means, or if the five watt IR is just not coming out right away, and that will be released later, and that's what they're talking about. But that's something that I'd be interested in checking out. Now let's scroll back up here really quick, and we'll kind of uh, go through these. So you can do the the conveyor belt just like you could before. You can do a rotary tool. Now they do have a new rotary setup. So this new rotary setup is actually they call it like uh, mag connect or something or mag swap. That's what it is, mag swap, and it's like a magnetic base that can swap in and out there. And this is a new rotary set. So your old RA2, to my understanding, is not going to work with this machine. You're going to have to get the RA3 rotary set. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you already have that, it won't work. This is another thing that uh, I think people are going to glance over and it's going to be kind of outshined by the P3 um, is the AP2 Max seems like it released the same time here. So if you don't have the AP1, the air filter one, um, you you want to look into the air purifier 2 here. Uh, it looks like that is a brand new thing. Uh, the AP1 is actually one of the best air purifiers out there that I know of. So this will be exciting to see how well this works as well. And I think a lot of people are going to glance over this. And I just wanted to bring attention to that. That's a super cool thing that they're releasing as well. If you guys want to get like a product demo or hands-on demo, you can schedule that with Xtool as well. I probably am not going to be able to get one of these machines uh, just because they are kind of pricey. They're about $6,000, so keep that in mind. But uh, if you have the money for it, this is the machine to get for a CO2 laser for sure. And then here's all the specs. You can screenshot this or pause anytime. But we kind of did the notatable ones already is the 80-watt uh, and the 5-watt optional module there. And then the work bed size. Um, and then here is your max thickness on uh, like bass wood or your acrylic here. So you're going to be almost at an inch with acrylic in one pass uh, with this machine. So super impressive there. Uh, you can pause and like I said, take a screenshot anytime. And then here's a breakdown of those four cameras inside the bed. So if you want to see what all of the cameras are about, uh, so you have the 16 megapixel camera. And then you have two side-by-side -side cameras and the uh, close range camera, but it doesn't tell you what megapixels they have on those. It just shows you that there's four cameras total that are working in conjunction with each other. Um, and then you have that LiDAR system, which is for the autofocus as well. That's going to be super cool to have that as an accurate alignment here. And then here's like your laser spot and general information. But I think you guys get the gist of that. Um, but my main thing was to highlight was uh, the like the AP2, the P3 itself, and the different specs. And uh, this next thing here, I'm, I'm kind of curious if they're talking about the IR head. I wish they would just come out and say it if it was, but if this is something entirely different, uh, that'll be kind of exciting too to see what is going to be another module that they'll be able to attach on this as well. Um, other than that, I think you guys get the gist of this. If you have any questions about these, you can, they already have them pre-answered. I'm not going to bore you with this. Um, you can go ahead and check all these out. Um, and then, like I said, the $100 deposit does go for any bundle 
which you'll pay by a link later on, kind of like what we create did with their $50 deposit. You'll just pick out your bundle set after you make this pre-order uh, pre here. So if you guys are interested, I'll put some links down in the description below that you can get to this website. You can click pay now for the $100 deposit, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.